Hey, Bob Monroe here from The Art of Masculinity. You know, it's probably one of the most difficult times in history for men these days. Uh, you can't get away from all of the news that we're hearing, the crime, the shootings, the drugs, the gangs, the bullying, the homelessness, rapes, sexual assault, the Me Too stuff. It's, it's everywhere. And everywhere we hear the governments, we're looking to the governments to solve all this. We need more, no, more police, more government programs uh, to deal with the results. And yes, we have to deal with the results. We can't get away from them. But what nobody's doing, what nobody's doing that I see out there, they're not dealing with the cause. We say, what's the cause? Well, we can point our fingers at all kinds of things, but uh, the government didn't cause this, and the government isn't going to fix it. So I maintain that the number one cause of all of these things, if we trace back all of these social programs, all of these social issues that we have that are bothering us and driving us nuts, it goes back to one of a very, very few things. And we didn't get here overnight, so we're not going to fix it overnight. And the government's not going to fix it. The police aren't going to fix it. The cause of this can be traced back, I would suggest in probably all cases, but certainly in the vast majority of them, to divorce, broken homes, absence of fathers, and uh, or abusive families, dysfunctional families. So how are we going to fix that? We're going to fix that by hiring more police? We're going to fix that by hiring more government programs, more drug programs, more housing programs, more food services programs, food stamps? No, we're not going to fix that. If you look at all of those different things, I maintain that if you trace it back to the root cause, you're going to find what I just said to be the cause. Men are not showing up. The relationships are falling apart left, right, and center. And that's partly due to a lot of the misinformation that we've been fed in the last 50, 60 years about relationships and how they work and how they don't work. And we've lost touch with all of the things that have worked for thousands and thousands of years. Okay, and I don't want to turn the clock back, believe me. We're moving into the future. We're moving in there faster than we've ever moved before. But a lot of those things that have worked in past generations and has everything been blessed? No, it hasn't. Sure, there's always been bad actors out there. There's always been failed relationships and there always will be, unfortunately. But most of what's happening out there today is attributed to the fact that men and women have no longer got a grasp on how to be with each other, how to treat each other, really and truly. All these dating sites that we're seeing, yeah, they work for getting hooked up and short-term stuff, but there's nothing out there that I see or very little that is teaching men and women how to have successful long-term committed relationships. That's why six years ago, myself and a few other men, I don't lead the weekend, we've created this weekend called The Art of Masculinity, and what it does is it teaches men how they need to be as men with each other, with their women, with their families, with their children, lots of other things. It helps them discover their purpose and uh, I believe that we need to start educating our young men on a lot of these factors. Now, we're not the only game in town. There's other good men's groups out there. There's a lot of them that are very feminized, that are giving the wrong message. A lot of the messages that don't work long term. They'll help you out in short term relationships, but long term is what we need. Our children need to have mom and dad together in a successful long term committed relationship where there's respect, where there's trust where there's honor, where men are being the men they need to be and gives the women a chance to be the women they need to be. So you got a mother and a father. You don't have two mothers. I see a lot of men mothering their children these days. They don't need that. They need a good mother and a good father. So I'd suggest you have a look at our website, www.theartofmasculinity.com. We've got a weekend coming up here very quickly in the Vancouver area, and we're looking at maybe doing some more on the East Coast in the future. So... Have a look. Check us out. We can do this. This is going to take a few generations to get us bailed out of this mess. It's not going to happen overnight. And trust me, the government's not going to get you through it. They're not going to get you out of it. It's up to us. It's up to the men. Men need to step up. Okay? I thank you for your time. Appreciate it.